can I tell the people? Or are we okay? Yeah, just tell the people. So, you know, we had done this energy work, and you know, lately you're the only energy worker that I really, you know, have loved. What you've done is the okay, let me just say this the level of the of the energy transmission of what you've been doing, it was you know, like, it's kind of like when people who do Reiki on you and, and I've always been like, eh, I don't really feel anything. And when you did that session with me, it like knocked me out. And I was like, what the, you know, what is she up to? You know, and I mean, I've always known you're super open, but you, you know, had developed this new, this new technique. Like, can I call it a technique? Yeah, sure. Whatever. Like healing modality. You, you developed a new modality, right? So so then you texted me the other day and you were like, you need to do this activation. Like my guys are telling me or your guides are telling me or something, you know, and I'm like, oh. okay, I'll do it. So I finally like made myself sit still in the morning and did it. And I could feel, you know, I could feel some energy on my, my head, you know, and I could feel it in my feet. So I, so I knew basically my story is, is that it was, it was opening me to more energy flowing through me. Yeah. So I just did this amazing call with Sophie B who has this whole magnetic marketing thing. And that's always been where I've struggled, right? Like, like strategy and, uh, and so I'm in, like, she's giving out this great information and I start to feel this dizziness in my head and it's it, I just start feeling like Ugh, like and I'm like is this a bad thing and I muscle tested I was like no and I was like oh shit this is what Salenta did to me <laughs> meditation you know she she I, I I'm like oh my god I think I'm receiving what Sophie's talking about I think that the universe at that moment Salenta was was showing me like, here's that, here's that receiving thing. Like, like let this stuff come to you. Like, what if it could be easy to reach my perfect clients? And then it was so, so, so then it would just like move through me. So I would, I had waves during the last part of her call, maybe every five minutes apart, 10 minutes. I want to say it's almost like contractions. Wow. It was like this, the, and then when I was talking to you, I was like, I immediately, when I got off the call with her, I called you. Cause I'm like, oh my God, girl, like I'm having these, you could almost call it like a hot flash, but it's not physical or making you sweat, but it is physical, but it's not like making me sweat, but I feel this intense energy coming in. And like, right now I have bare feet. So I'm making sure to like run it through my body. But, um, I feel like and the other thing is when I called you, it started intensifying and I started to feel a little sick to my stomach. I'm like, oh yeah. shit, like this is, I have never felt this before, except when we did that session the one time, but I don't even remember this. So I think Miss Aretha Pants is getting an upgrade today. Yeah. <laughs> I, no, talk to me, like, tell me what is happening to me right now. <laughs> so did you watch the first meditation I sent you or the second one or both? I think, I think it was the second one. Cause I think you said, okay. this is what, well, no, it's whichever one you said, this is the one you really need to see. Yeah. Yeah. The second one. Um, did I say in the second one, did I mention the dizziness? Cause I think I mentioned the dizziness in the first one. I don't think I knew that, but I feel yeah. dizzy right now. So I thought we could just kind of yeah. meet right now. And you can, so, cause I want to share this experience for the rest of your viewers, because I think they need to realize this is like legit, amazing <laughs> stuff going yeah. on. And yeah. Woo. Well, yeah, I have chills. So um, just to back it up, when you called me, like literally you called me five minutes ago, I'm just sitting here. You're like, you look so beautiful. I'm like, well, I'm about to do a video. <laughs> I don't always look like this. <laughs> um, because I had the same, it, it's, I think this is so important because yesterday, the energy meditation I did, like I'm having physical effects today that are like throwing me off because today I'm, I'm it's like forcing us to process or like deal with it and deal with the physical upgrades that's happening. So the reason I asked is the 
for whoever hasn't watched that video, when you start opening these channels, which you are a very open channel and seer anyway. So for you, this might be like, oh, wow, I can have more. But that's why I got that message for you because your guides are like, yes, you can stream so much more energy through your body. So what happens is when you're opening these, these um, portals, which is really your energy center, because you are a portal on this, grant, on this earth, um, which is really just a gateway to other realms and dimensions as you're opening this. And then also in that meditation, we open the heart, which is the major receptor and transmitter of energy. So as you start opening your heart, which we did in that session and streaming that energy, you start to create these memory pathways in your body and in your cells that can receive so much more than you've ever received before and so for you as someone who guides other people through it firstly you're just going to get it yourself but as you start to stream that energy it will make you feel physically ill when i started doing these uh meditations i had the exact same experience where i think it was the second one i did literally i felt sick to my stomach like i was going to throw up but it wasn't like that was the physical response, but same with you. I knew it wasn't like the bad thing. Like it wasn't a negative response. It was my body upgrading and like pushing out and releasing. So that's why the meditations there to allow yourself to start using energy in a more um, conscious way and also upgrading your body and your cells to be able to handle it and to be able to handle more light. Just like your eyes, when you go outside, like it's going to hurt if you are not accustomed, you have to like ease your way into it. Same right. thing that's happening here. Yeah. Well, I definitely want um, you to share this video to Soul Style Tribe so the rest of my people can, can get in on this with you yeah. because this is unbelievable. Because I don't, it, it's kind of like with crystals, like I love it all. I love all the earth stuff. But I haven't really, I can't really say like, oh, up until a couple months ago that I really felt crystals until I went into my friend's store and was in there for a couple hours. And then I felt the cumulative effect of all the crystals, mm -hmm. right? And so I'm sensitive and I'm aware and I'm intuitive and I'm discerning, but I've just, for most of my experience of 18 years of being, you know, soul work and, and healing and coaching, I really can only point to a handful of times when I've actually physically felt something. And this, it's kind of like, it's so intense. Like you have to, you have to sit down. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's like, it's almost like an earthquake is happening a little bit. Now I did not throw up, which I appreciate. Thank you so much <laughs> because I don't, I don't like throwing up. I mean, who does, but I'm just saying like, but I did feel the queasiness right. of that. And I, so I just wanted to say that and acknowledge that. And, and I want to speak, I want to speak specifically to the physical experience that I have had, um, in the past in dealing with negative energies like negative witchcraft before I would get a signal from the divine and what I would feel when someone was trying to manipulate me or control me I would feel a swirly sensation that's similar to this but different I just want to share how it's different where I would feel like oh like I couldn't see and I could like kind of was like somebody's putting an energetic bag over your head and I would feel like dizzy and ungrounded and unclear and wishy-washy and like I don't know like confusion this feels like oh like it's just like you kind of have to sit down and ground yourself because it's like whoa it's coming through and I think it's so interesting that spirit chose that moment to do that to me because it could have done it to me at any time I'm sitting here drinking my tea but I think the universe was like, Aretha, get ready to experience different results in your marketing, in your life, because I'm, I'm sending it through right now. So you'll get that in attention on this is how this is a practical application in your life. Yeah, like body confirmation along with receiving. And my story is, Salinta, um, you know, you and I had talked to, 
you know, like maybe a month ago or six weeks ago, and we and we were both saying, like, I want to show up authentically 100%. Like, I'm ready. Like, I'm sick of dinking around. <laughs> like, we, you know, I am ready. And it's, this feels very much like the universe going, I'm ready to and get ready to receive. And I'm going to hazard a guess. I'm going to, I am going to wonder openly with you and all your people if this is not going to really affect my money which has not been where I've wanted to be for a very long time because I because my story is it has to do with receiving yeah yeah and also so what you're doing is you're upping your capacity to receive and experience energy Mm. and all that money is, is just energy. And exactly. so you're upping and expanding your experience to receive energy in a more pure, direct um, way, which money is the same thing. We just put old stories and baggage onto money. But as you start to feel it running through your body in an energetic sense and seeing it and experiencing it as energy and putting it into your energetic field as energy, then all the other bullshit falls away because your mind can't conceptualize that as well. It's like, oh, it's well, just a thing. So, so my, what is coming to my mind as an analogy is, you know, when we, you, you know, you and I are very open and very positive energy, but a lot of times people can't handle my positive energy because it's too positive. And they're like, Ugh, you know, and, and I remember that moment in my life you know, meeting a very bright person. I had just been sick for a long time. And I was just like, oh, you're too bright. You're too loud. You're too, your energy is too much, you know? And, um, and when we give a compliment to somebody and they're not able to receive the compliment, that's just like a, a typical everyday experience. And for your audience, you know, just wondering like how available are you to receiving a compliment that this is very similar that, that if we can't even receive a compliment, like this energy work that you do, Salento, opens people up to really receiving like how great they are, how, you mm-hmm. know, what's possible, what's, um, and Nate's coming down the stairs, so you'll hear a tall, creeping creature. <laughs> but um, I just think that this is going to change everything for me because I think that that your work came to me when I was ready for a true up level and, and I mentally, I am and all these things that I'm searching, but what the work that you did actually got me ready to receive it. And then had it happen today. So I just had to call you immediately and be like, Oh my gosh, this is crazy. (laughs) Yeah. And I'm so glad. I'm so glad. And um, because what happens is just in, so I'm learning uh, as I do these, the, the energy meditations are really channels that I am tapping into my higher self and other dimensions and the energy that my soul has collected over eons, dimensions, planes, whatever, like I'm tapping into and pulling down. And that is what's new for me, right? And as I'm doing that, I'm also learning and experiencing, like I was saying, so last night, what they were saying is, that there's two ways to shift and the old way that everyone talks about in manifesting is to shift your mind because your mind then shifts your vibration your thoughts your thoughts impact your vibration well we all know now because of you know the institute of heart math that your heart is a far more more powerful transmitter of vibration than our mind so what i got last night and what the practice was was to because we had already opened the heart receptor the the video I sent you so now that that channel is open to be able to consciously bring down the vibration that you're seeking in a in an energy form so that the shift isn't just happening in our mind like oh I'm ready in my head but the shift can happen energetically in your vibration so that you're impacting your vibrational field by consciously bringing the energy through your heart and like into your orbit so that now my heart is far stronger that my vibration is impacting my mind instead of the other way around. 
And then if they're both working together, like that's the optimal, right? Um, right. But I also got this for you. Uh, we need to breathe through the energy. The more breath you use to receive. So when you said like a compliment, I noticed my body. <sighs> yeah, because you know how to receive a whole breath in because receiving is a physical experience actually we think Absolutely. that it's like in our head like oh but so with you with the energy the reason we ha are getting nauseous is because there's not enough breath with it so um and water too i know like my yeah. hydration because in, in in some level it might be some electrical like that recalibrating your cells yeah. and you know all of that but um, you know, the thing that, that I'm noticing too, is I think I'm opening up to more opportunities and more people. I mean, I can see it already. And I know I did a, a healing, a rapid trauma release session on somebody the other day, and it was just like, boom, boom, boom. It just came through me so fast. So, um, I appreciate, you know, everything you've done to help me to be ready for this and experience it. Um, very rapidly with really just one meditation because it's in, in my story is it's hard for me to fit in an hour a day of doing right. those but but maybe just one a week I, I could do because right. this is a lot that I've received it's kind of a lot you know this is this is yeah. you know while we're talking it's happening again it's like ooh, it's you know, it, it kind of reminds me of what people say about solar flares. Like it's this, all this power coming at you. So I just wanted to describe the experience for, for some of your clients that it's pretty, pretty amazing as you are. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, once a week is plenty. And uh, I wouldn't suggest more than once a week because you need time to integrate. Integrate, and, exactly. Yeah. Whoa, and, okay. Woo. It's and it's it's hit me really hard right now and it's like going right to my hips. That, that hip joint. I'm like, whoa, because I'm sitting down. I'm just going, whoa. And I feel move really into it. Move into it. So the way to move the energy through is through movement, through sound, and through the breath. Okay. So you'll notice um if your eyes were open <laughs> during the meditation that I'm moving a lot and in the beginning of the meditations, we'll preface like uh, drink water, even if it's one sip, it kind of like lubricates your like drink water, um, move into any like parts in your body because we're co-creating where so before things are the body is separate from our spirit and intuition. And so what this process does is it integrates the two together, bringing your spirit or soul like down in to your body in a a more tangible way integrating that but then also like opening those channels and it has to and it is a physical experience so that's why you're experiencing physical things but to assist with that moving into those little kinks because energy needs space to flow and any like uh tense mm -hmm. places in our body um will block the energy and when the energy is blocked that's when the problem arises same with like when people are doing kundalini exercises and the tower practices, if they're not connect, because we have circuits, we're, we're just this electrical circuit board of a body. Yeah. When, the when the energy is either blocked or the circuit is not connected, that's where the, the problem happens. So in those other practices, if you're not connecting your tongue to the roof of your mouth, you will, people have, head injuries because you're you're having so much energy come up your spine and it's so very powerful that if it can't come back down it creates problems so mm -hmm. use the breath use the movement and it will alleviate any of those other symptoms that you've experienced Thank you. well i i need to go but i i just so love you and appreciate the work that you're doing and i i wanted to help give it give it a voice um because I think it's an emerging modality into the planet. And I'm so excited that you're its facilitator and I'm excited to receive from you. So thank you. I love you. Thank you. Namaste. I love you.